Today's topic is you were recently arrested or given a citation at Coachella Music Festival and you have an upcoming court date in Indio, California, and you want to know what your rights are. If you've been recently cited or arrested at Coachella or a family member has, stick around. I think you're going to like this video. My name is Dodd. I've been a criminal defense attorney here in San Diego County for the past 18 years. Now it's that time of year where we get a lot of cases from Coachella. Now, if you've been recently arrested at Coachella or cited while you're at Coachella, you're going to have a court date in Indio. Indio is approximately two and a half hours north of San Diego County. But my firm handles these cases every single year. We get tons of them. Now, the Coachella Music Festival just started back up this year. It hasn't been going since 2019 because of COVID. It just happened again this past week, and there was over 120 arrests that happened this past week. Now, the arrest for drug sales at Coachella will result in you being taken into custody and having to bail out most likely. However, if you were caught for just simple possession, they're gonna give you a citation with a promise to appear. Now, the typical cases we see are possession of prescription pills without a valid prescription, Pose possession of Xanax, possession of Oxycontin. We also get possession of other prescription drugs that you don't have a prescription for. Then we also get the drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, ecstasy, Molly, we get a lot of cases where our clients get a simple possession, they get cited and then released. We're also getting cases where you've used a fake ID to try to get into the Coachella Music Festival. You're gonna be cited for that as a misdemeanor as well, or you were just having a little bit too much fun at Coachella Music Festival and you picked up a drunken public misdemeanor citation. We also get other types of cases, property damage cases. Another common one we get are the misuse of a handicap placard. That is a misdemeanor. So typically what happens is, you know, somebody borrows the handicap placard from their parents and they go to Coachella and they use it to park, they end up getting a misdemeanor for the misuse of a handicap placard. We also get low level vandalism cases. Now this video, I'm only going to talk to you about a misdemeanor possession case. Now, if you've been cited for a misdemeanor possession and you have court coming up in Indio and you have no prior criminal record, do not think your life is over. There are many options that we have for a misdemeanor case in Indio as a result of you being cited at the Coachella Music Festival. What we typically do is we work out some sort of diversion deal on these cases where you agree to give up your right to a speedy trial, you are going to do certain programs and classes, and we're gonna come back to court in a certain period of time. Typically, it's up to 120 days we come back, and as long as you completed the class you were supposed to complete, and you were law-abiding, meaning you did not pick up any new violations and paid a fine of somewhere around $150, we can get the case dismissed so it's not off your record. So typically you would have to fill out a diversion form like this that basically tells the judge that you give up your right to a speedy trial and a jury trial and you agree to do certain programs. Now in uh, Riverside County, you can do a program called a at the Better Community Program in Corona, the Awareness Program in Indio, another awareness program in Palm Springs, there's one at the Riverside County Blythe DUI program. There's also one at Anderson and Associates Counseling Services and the High Road program in Riverside. So there are several programs where you can do this class. And typically it's a one day class that the judge and prosecutor will want you to do. And if you do that, we can get your case dismissed. So if you've recently been arrested, I'm very sorry to hear. I know you're going through a very stressful time and you think your life is over. Your life is not over. We will try to work out a diversion deal. 
please give me a call at the number below. We handle these cases all the time. We have handled tons of these cases in the past 18 years. Give us a call. We will handle the case. Have a great day.